No, it's not. See, that's that's what I'm getting when I'm feeding enough. Okay, oh, thank you. It's blue mine. Okay. So, good afternoon, people. Today I am at Broom Fisheries in Annan. They have done free me. If anybody on here has seen my Facebook page, you'll probably know it's my favourite place to go fishing ever. So if I can get a day down here, it is absolutely fantastic. I mean the weather's beautiful today though. There's not very much wind, so I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing today. But I turned up and I took peg, this is peg 10 or 9, I don't really know. I get quite confused with the peg on, on bruises, that's pole I'm fishing. So my dad's took peg 13, which is another bridge peg, it's probably, I think it has the, the Scottish match record actually. Dad's had about £100 out of there and it's only about 2 o'clock now. But he's been fishing and catching lots of carp. I've had about 50, 60 pounds, but I've only had a couple of carp and a lot of aid. So I reckon we've caught the same, his fish have just weighed a bit more. But I started down my edge, on my right, just into the bridge, and oh, I think he might be a small fishy. And that was, that caught me a carp. It was about seven, eight pounds. It was quite a nice fish actually. And then I foul hooked one, foul hooked one, foul hooked another one. Oh, I'm tangled around the ends of my top kit here. No wonder that felt funny. And um, then I just decided to start setting up some shallow lines. You could tell when we got here that the fish did not want to be on the bottom. I mean, my dad's over there, he's catching. He's catching bream on the bottom, but not carp. The carp are wanting to be through the water, which makes sense. It's quite a high pressure day today, so he's not bad either. Water in my face, that was not smart. It's pulled very often. So I'm not really too sure of it. I don't really know how it's laid out or anything like that, so. The peg I'm on now, I've got a rough idea of how it goes, but... Oh my god! Oh my god, I crapped myself. I absolutely just crapped myself. I mean, 16 degrees in Scotland, it's absolutely true. Oh, it's a fish! That's something a bit bigger as well, that's nice. There's obviously some bigger fishies around. Oh, he's gone on a run. He's gone on a run. Just trying to keep that end on my pole nice and low down. I knew that the fish would come eventually, but it was just getting them into my peg. So I, before that fish came there, I started putting dead maggots out and it got them swirling. And then I was still, I'm still fishing live maggot on the hook. Oh, it's an eight. He's not a bad one either. That's nice, it's a bigger fish, isn't it? I mean, that's bromide for you, they're absolutely humongous. Just get him on this side so I can get his hook out. But now that they're there, I've just got to keep them there. But that is carp and that's eyes. So I'm watching the carp come up to the top. Yeah, broom eyes. That didn't happen. Broom eyes are just absolutely unreal. Let's go just to the back of my 11 meters. 
and straight on the swells. There's something on there. It's a better fish. My last trick is definitely too heavy for this. Definitely too heavy for this, but it's just because I was catching carp and now I can't be bothered to change it. It's a landing net worthy one. That always means it's a good fish. Now, let's not drop my top kit this time. Oh yeah, he's a nice fish. See if I can show you him, but he is on a bit of a raggy. I'm just gonna feed again whilst I'm waiting for him to calm down. They went everywhere. Yeah, another brewing light. It's probably give them a pound and a half. They're good fish here. I reckon your average eyes when you get onto the bigger ones, you average them about a pound. Which you know what? Good weight builders. Really, really good weight builders here. To make sure my poles together because sometimes it just comes a bit loose. Just double check it every now and again. There we go. To the end of my section again. Push my net back, it's a wee bit close. Big swells. Yep. Catching some better fish now, which is nice. I mean, you just have to feed for them and they'll come in eventually, but. It's just how long it takes them to come in and because my elastic's reasonably heavy I'm having to try and drag them out of the group because I don't want them to spook the rest of the fish. Oh, here's another good one. But yeah, I'm just, I'm feeding deads now. I'm not feeding live maggots. I'm like my cat pointing with them all over the place. But it's still working out, so. They're, they're good fish though. They're really good fish. I can't complain at these. Oh my god, it says great when they start. It's absolutely great when they get on it like this. I mean, it's probably my favourite type of fishing. I have developed an absolute love for eyed fishing now. Is that an eyed? That's a shot. Is that what? That's not a shot. What am I saying? That's a week up. So we go, boy. Oh, we have one. Yeah. See if I can pick him up for you, actually. Dead oh, tents, dead tents, fishy. Let's feed first. I get really bad for forgetting my feed, so. Oh no, he's a tense one. But they're nice fish, aren't they? They're pristine, beautiful fish.
should do pretty damn quickly if there's fish in the peg. Didn't take much last time. finish off the day. It's a beautiful broom margin carp. Straight from my margins on Fuka. Who would have thought it? I'd say he was a low double. Gave me an absolute run around on nine jura slips. I was probably playing him for about 15 minutes. But now I can say I've had about a hundred pound of fish today and I can pack up happy.